Hello, welcome back to the Power Rangers Vlog. Yeah, yeah, I know, I should have mentioned more things. The episode, When Logic Fails, which doesn't really mean the title work with the episode, when it's more of choice. The person, this is more of a rally episode, and he didn't use logic, he used his choice of the bigger picture instead of the smaller one. Anyway, somehow, Riley became a scientific genius. So, besides the fact that he's a, born, a boy on a farm, a determined fighter, now he's a math genius? Why couldn't they give it to the other people? Like, make Chase maybe a guy who likes to hit on women, but super smart. Or Shelby, since she does love dinosaurs, it would make more sense to have her being the smart one. Or Co- No, no, Kato's a fish out of water. It wouldn't make sense for a caveman to have scientific genius from our time. Or Captain Bland! Yeah, yeah, I know, Tyler, but still. They could at least gave him something besides, I'm looking for my missing father. They could have gave it to any of them, but they gave it to Riley, the one who has the more character. But yeah. Fury still has the gold battery. I'm just going to call it a battery because it looks like a battery throughout the whole time. I don't care. And But the problem is, because it's not charged, they can't summon the Megazord with it. So they need to find a way to charge it. Fury has an idea by using the help of... I really did not know that monster's name. All I know is he's their tech guy. And he always mopes. I'm just going to call him Depressy until I get his actual name. And a Monster of the Week puzzler. Which, they really screwed up on the design of this monster. Why do they call it Puzzler? It looks more like a giant bug, and it has a sight. And, yeah, he's obsessed with puzzles, but that doesn't do work well. The other monsters from the previous weeks of the Monster of the Weeks actually represented what they were. This one, I think they just goofed up, because American goof up, because they didn't know how to put the story together right. Eh. But yeah, due to inconvenience of, one, Fury found an abandoned lab to power the battery, which doesn't make sense of how did he know. Two, there were kids playing giant chess in this abandoned lab, wondering why is there a giant chess set at an abandoned lab for kids to play it. And at the same time, Chase is delivering pizza for, his, for the group. And just to state as a running joke throughout this whole episode, Coda's hungry. Ugh. What else? Because of all that misfortune of the monster scaring the kids because they don't know how to play chess properly. Trust me, even I don't know how to play chess properly. You play me against someone who actually knows it, you'll be lucky. I'll be lucky to even survive five turns. Anyway, they were able, Chase was able to find the monster and the monster decides to turn the lab into a giant game, a maze, where they have to find a way to get out. With Chase, Shelby, and Tyler running around in circles, Coda finds a vending machine and has warfare with it. Which is really annoying padding. Yeah, I know the feeling of you find something that you want to eat in the vending machine, you're trying to get it out, and you know, and you just can't get it. But it wasn't funny the whole time looking at that Coda battling with a vending machine. And then that end joke, as soon as he gets out, the cookie falls out the vending machine. That was a stupid joke. And yet, Riley was able to get his way out through the vents, which doesn't make sense if he turned the whole area in the, into a maze. Yet, the vents are the only thing that are perfectly fine. I guess he can't work with vents or the plot develops like that. And as soon as Riley gets out, but then the question... Kendall is stating, get the battery from Fury. Logically, yeah, it wouldn't make sense to go after Fury because, one, Riley does have a little bit of a vendetta with Fury. Should have been his reason, or he... But he decides to go with getting his friends out, which actually makes a bigger logical answer for the big picture. So logic didn't fail. He just decided to go for the bigger picture instead of the smaller one. And also, I guess Riley gave up on going after Fury and gave it to Captain Bland to give him a real reason to be the way he is. What else? We also do get to know more about what's inside Fury. So we do know it's the Gold Ranger because the Ranger is the only thing that could power the crystals. 
but in this case it's a battery, so it doesn't make sense unless the heater's already holding the energy but I'm not going into that details because I don't want to know because it doesn't make sense. They just use that, to, they just pull that one out of their butts for some funny reason. I'm just going to go with that. And Riley decides to have a puzzle, I'm mean, at a game of chess against Puzzler. While during the whole chess match, he kept throwing marbles in the vents to tell the rangers, use the vents. Which, okay, one, the first problem I have with this whole thing he Riley's doing is one, why does he have the Energem on his, around him like a necklace? Don't they usually just need to bring only the batteries with them to go things, or do they need the Energem with them on at all times? Because I thought they just put the gems in the lab, and they use the batteries to char get charged by the crystal. Eh, must, eh, I call that a plot something, plot hole or something. Two, why if the marbles didn't actually reach to the vents? I know, yeah, a good throw, but even a good throw would cause the marbles to stay in one spot and not get out there. And they made it out there, and then comes a giant anticlimactic battle. Which kind of annoyed me when Coda did the finishing shot to Puzzler, when it should have been Riley who did the finishing shot. For some funny reason, this episode does feel schizophrenic because it feels like it should have been more of a Coda episode because Coda is the one who's doing the finishing shot to the monster. And also it does feel a little bit more like Kendall's because she's the brains of the group and yet somehow they made Riley the brains. So it's like schizophrenic on that idea. Yeah, we get the giant Megazord battle, we get the giant puzzler, and Fury summons the Pterosaur. And for how it goes, quick, both sides get, I mean, he gets hit, Megazord gets hit by both sides. They just do the finisher move, smack Puzzler in the air, and the Pterosaur just blows it out of the sky, which I think it would make sense if I watched the Japanese version of this episode, why is all this? But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to, it would it would make more sense in the J Japanese version instead of this American version. And like I repeat, this episode really doesn't, it's schizophrenic at times. Like I said, it, it's supposed to be a Riley episode, but it feels like so much is working with either Kendall or Coda for all this stuff. It only gives you the info is that Fury has the Gold Ranger inside him. That's all we know. But then, how did an alien get a, captured a ranger or something? No clue. This is not one of my favorite episodes, but I'm still going to keep watching the series because, like I said, I'm a Power Rangers series. I'm a, I'm a Power Rangers fanatic, and I will still watch this series. Hopefully, next week will give me something better. And sorry for my usually screw-ups or randoms in this, because I am just going with whatever I can get out real quickly from memory, for sake's alone. Well, then, see you next week for the Power Interview Live.